Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Some few hours ago, Miguna Miguna, a very close William Ruto ally, taking to his Twitter handle, had this to say. Dr. Miguna Miguna, it is actually a criminal offense to tape audio, video record anyone without their consent. That's the law. Therefore, those who surreptitiously recorded William Ruto broke the law. We cannot build a country governed by the rule of law if we tolerate illegal acts. That's Miguna Miguna. And from that tweet, Miguna is trying to refer to the William Ruto audio that is currently going viral. In the audio, William Ruto is overheard boasting on how he almost slapped President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta in 2017 after the Supreme Court nullified Uhuru's win. That's Miguna Miguna. And if you listen and even look at Miguna Miguna in the recent days, Miguna comes out as a person least qualified to talk about the rule of law. In some of his posts and even utterances, Miguna has actually been promoting and supporting impunity. So I believe he is least qualified to talk about the rule of law. And again, what Miguna does not know is that William Ruto and his close associates might have deliberately leaked the said audio for some political reasons. Only that the intended mission might have backfired. So in this video, I want to explain why I believe William Ruto and his close associates deliberately leaked the said audio and I'm also going to explain why I believe the said audio might have actually backfired. But before we dig deep into that analysis, in case you are watching us for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Thank you, God bless you, God bless Kenya. Yes. If at all the audio might have been leaked by anybody, then the first culprits are William Ruto and those who attended that current residence meeting. So it's clear William Ruto and his close associates might have leaked that audio. If at all it is true, that's what we actually transpired and that's what William Ruto actually told Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. And I'm saying that because if you look at William Ruto, William Ruto has been exposed in several occasions as a person who is just lying. William Ruto can actually lie without even flinching an eye. So I'm not very much convinced that what William Ruto is saying from that leaked audio is actually what happened. But if it's exactly what happened, then William Ruto and his close associates might have leaked that audio deliberately for some political reasons. Only that upon leaking the audio, the in intended mission actually backfired. And listening to William Ruto speaking today in Mero, I tend to believe William Ruto deliberately leaked that audio to paint a picture that is the person who made Uhuru Migai Kenyatta the president. Because he was just boasting today again in Meru that if he forced Uhuru Kenyatta to be the president, what's wrong with that? Those are the exact words he was seemingly saying in Meru. And then shockingly, Professor Kithure Kindiki also just exposed another, maybe a lie again, that is the one who told the transfer letter President Uhuru Kenyatta had written to transfer power. That is the one who grabbed that <coughs> paper or other agreement and a toy it. I'm seeing a team that might be playing on the intelligence of Kenyans. William Ruto and his team, if you look at them keenly, 
To me, they come out as just people who are just playing politics or propaganda. Their politics is based largely on lies, propaganda, and hate, sympathy seeking. And William Ruto and his team deliberately leaked that audio for sympathy. They want to get some sympathy, especially on the mountain. That they made Uhuru Kenyatta the president, but Uhuru Kenyatta has actually betrayed them. That's the intended mission. I'm seeing William Ruto and his team might have leaked that audio. If at all the audio <laughs> is what actually transpired in 2017. They leaked it out because of that. And upon leaking the audio, their intended mission actually backfired because from the audio, William Ruto has been exposed as a power-hungry kind of a leader and a politician. William Ruto has also been exposed as being disrespectful to his boss. For just a deputy president to even imagine slapping the commander-in-chief, slapping the, the president, I tend to believe that that's the highest order of disrespect one can show a president. William Ruto, out of that leaked audio, has also been exposed as power hungry and also be, being disrespectful to the boss. And above all, ladies and gentlemen, that audio is also augering very negatively for William Ruto on the mountain. Because largely our politics is ethnic based. That audio is just exposing William Ruto as the aggressor. Somebody who was actually manipulating any dictating terms to President Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. It creates a picture that Uhuru Kenyatta was a man under siege when he was actually <laughs> under the arms and control of William Ruto. William Ruto was actually dictating terms and conditions to President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru comes out as a person who was under a William Ruto siege. And that also beats the logic William Ruto and his team have been propagating that Uhuru Kenyatta is actually has been mistreating them. Because William Ruto has been trying to paint a picture that is a victim of the aggression from the side of the president. But from that audio, it exposes William Ruto as the aggressor. And now that the mountain people are seeing that their son was under siege, I tend to believe that instead of William Ruto getting the sympathy, Uhuru Kenyatta can actually get that sympathy. Because now it's coming out clearly that this man William Ruto was actually very arrogant and very dictatorial to the president. Instead of Ruto getting the sympathy, I'm seeing Uhuru Kenyatta actually getting that sympathy. And I'm seeing a good majority of Mount Kenya residents now actually sympathizing with their son as opposed to somebody who just helped their son. That's how I just believe that that audio might have actually backfired. Or the intended mission might have actually backfired. And then as I conclude back to that tweet by Miguna Miguna, Miguna is just being hypocritical. Because if you look at Miguna Miguna, in the recent days, he has actually been supporting everything about William Ruto. And if you look at William Ruto the way they have been behaving, William Ruto has actually been defending corrupt leaders and he has actually been defending corruption. Miguna has actually been supporting William Ruto on that. In fact, if you look at the recent cases, where it's obvious the likes of Malala, eh, Sakaja, they don't have valid degrees, Meguna has been actually supporting that team. So it's clear that Meguna Meguna, in the recent days, has been defending corruption and impunity. Meguna has not been actually standing in defense of the rule of law. So that tweet by Miguna Miguna, I see it as a Miguna Miguna who is just trying to be hypocritical. He's not being honest with Kenyans. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, 
in case you have you have still not maybe subscribed kindly subscribe give this video a like and to our fans and subscribers here i'm very much humbled very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here god bless you god bless kenya to any other person watching us outside kenya for the very first time drop a comment let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from and if possible again subscribe give this video a like thank you god bless you god bless kenya